That's a great foot though. How have you missed that? All right, guys, Michelle here, and welcome back to the Rage of Glory. Oh my god! All right, boys and girls, we're going to be talking about a centre-back who you might say is uh, a little bit fast. Yes, boys and girls, we've gone and picked up the centre-back Tio Hernandez. This guy looks unreal. But appearances can be... Deceptive. I'm going to jump into his in games real quick. Just before we do that, let's just quickly run through the team and shit. First things first, we did complete the SBC David Villa. I did it for literally like 20k. I had some, uh, what I'm trying to think, what car. I had an untradeable Fernandinho, uh, so which is 87 rated. Uh, I had. Boring. Basically, it was just super cheap. I had everything in the club. He's all right. He's not bad. I do really enjoy him. His shooting is unreal. This guy, both feet, five-star weak foot, by the way. This guy can shoot. Obviously, in the last episode, we pack pulled Sane. If you missed that, go check that out. But I've been using Sane and David Villa sort of on and off, just uh, switching the two. I can't put Sane on full chem at the minute. I figured something out. I'll show you guys in a second. But yeah, we've been switching between the two. Sane's been amazing. David Villa's been amazing. It's difficult to separate the two. On the one hand, David Villa has that and just unreal shooting but then Sane has 99 pace and the pace whore in me wants to use Sane. I'm not sure who I prefer yet. Slightly Sane over VR, I think. Maybe just a teeny bit. Then in goalkeeping position, we did pick up the Future Stars Lafont. I've been wanting to get this guy for a little while now because we've been using normal Neto for quite a while. So yeah, he's been pretty good as well this weekend. He's made some really good saves. I mean, I don't think keepers are too important, but yeah, he's been pretty good. I think that's all the changes we've made. I don't think there's anything else. I finished my weekend league. We did finish gold free, so just a normal weekend. No crazy uh, 19 wins this week, I'm afraid. And I have to say, Tio Hernandez has been kind of average. I was kind of expecting a little bit more. What? His stats are ridiculous. And we'll jump into those in just a second. I don't know. He just had, a, he had an average weekend. He didn't impact the team as much as I thought he would. Alright, let's jump into the in-games then, boys. Starting things off then, boys. He's six foot tall, which is pretty decent. He did used to be a left back, so obviously uh, he could have been very short. So yeah, he has medium medium work rates, which is a lot better than high medium. So it's not bad. It's I'd obviously prefer medium high, but it is what it is. 94 pace, boys. Obviously, that is the reason this card is in the team right now. It's unheard of. I mean, he's got to be the fastest centre back in the game. His defensive stats are really good. Okay, 89 standing tackle with an anchor that goes up to 99. Ridiculous sliding tackle. He has decent heading accuracy. His interceptions is by far his weakest point in terms of defensive stats. It's not the best. 81. It's not bad with an anchor it does go up to 86 but you do want a bit higher than 81 that's not the best now by far the biggest problem with this card okay in terms of in games that jumping no oh god fuck fuck for someone that's only six foot, you know, obviously this wouldn't be the worst if he was six foot five or you know, like a Van Dyke. Obviously, you want him to at least have uh, really high jumping. You know, Carlos Puyol, for example, uh, I didn't find his heading an, an issue when we used him. Part of that is that he had like 90 jumping, so that wasn't a problem. But it is a problem here, okay? So by far, Hernandez's worst point is the fact that he is not going to win too many headers. That is a darn shame. He does have 87 strength, though. Nice. This is a really weird card because on the one hand, you have someone that has 94 pace, ridiculous tackling, really good strength, but he doesn't win headers. Kind of depends what you're looking for. If you want a more complete centre back, I understand that you're probably not going to want to use this card. But if you want to sacrifice that heading for that extra pace, that extra 94 pace, okay, which you won't find on many other centre backs, especially for this price. If you've already got a centre back that wins a lot of headers, like a Virgil van Dijk, then I'd definitely say partnering up with someone like Hernandez is a good idea. As I said, like looking at these stats, you'd think he'd have more of an impact but he just hasn't quite cut it for me. I'm hoping, obviously, in this episode that he's going to improve. Obviously, I'm willing to give him some time. I gave Taliska some time. Uh, his first weekend was pretty pretty terrible. But then in the, in the next weekend league, we ended up with 19 wins, and, and he was our best player, to be honest with you. And just before we get into those games, boys, I'm going to show you guys how I plan to get Sane on full chem. Boys, this is how I plan to get Sane on full chem. I'm just going to change it in-game so that we can still play 4-1-2-1-2, but obviously with everyone in the right positions. But basically, we need to save up for Balak, to get that green link to Sane, which then still keeps the uh, the amber link to Taliska, which was the problem um, that I was having. In doing so, we have had to get rid of Semedo, who I do really like. Sacrifices must be made. All right, then, boys, let's just come into a couple of games with Hernandez then and see what he's about. Hopefully, he can show himself off and, you know, be really good. That would be awesome. All right, let's jump into this. Come on. No, it's coming defense. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, that doesn't sell this card at all, does it? No. Torres, hit this first time. Good finish. Come on. Good. No. 
No. Come on, I tackle. Tackle. That's a pen. What the fuck are you doing, man? Hey! Get wrecked, mate. No! Oh, that's such a horse crap! What was the point of saving it? Bullshit. A few moments later. Okay. Come on. Where's Hernandez, man? Where's Hernandez? Oh, come on, man. Just, there's no defending. It's, it's fucking disgraceful. I'm doing a defensive player of you, and this is the best I've got to offer. It's only game. Why you have to be mad? That's better. There we go. That's a proper crunch. More like that. And again. And again. No, not again. You can only do that once. You can only do that once, people. Not having fun. I don't know if you can tell about my lack of fun right now. I mean, to be honest with you boys, I want to say this is me at this point, but I used Gabriel Paulista last week for 30 games, okay? 30 games, I used Gabriel 82 rated Paul Lister, and I got my best weekend finish ever. So is it me really? Like, I I'm actually don't know at this point. Come on. Sane. Played Taliska. Easy finish, surely. Penalty? Alright. Oh no, he's going to get sent off. Oh, this changes everything. I am so glad I did not rage quit. This changes a lot. Okay, Torres, you've got to bury this lad. Oh, for fuck's sake, you've got to be joking. This is good. It's, it's got to be a goal. Oh, yeah! That's a fucking rocket. That's an absolute rocket. Right. Okay, no, I've just I've just seen the time. It took us so long to score that. This is good. Ten men. Ten men. Ten men. And I'm doing a centre back player review, and I still can see against ten men. What the frick? That well, there you go, boys. I mean, oh, I, oh, I'm my head's running at the minute because I'm like, Hernandez pissed me off. I pissed myself off because I was genuinely not very good. All right, I'm going to get rid of the grudge on Hernandez. This next game, he's going to do well. And then we're just going to, it's going to be a, a, a new slate with me and Hernandez, okay? Oh, there's a stupidly open defense right there. That's not Hernandez's fault. But if he wins his header, he's never winning that header, is he? <laughs> 89 standing tackle. 89 standing tackle. And he does that. So we made a run. Good. This is good. And then we play Sane. Look, 1 2 here, maybe. Sane hits the first time! No! Yes! I didn't press circle. Well in Bootra. That is such cheat. I didn't even press shoot, and he still shot. What the fuck? Come on. Oh my god, that is. I mean, first of all, that's a ridiculous strike. Oh my god, where's my defense? It's, we're back to this again, aren't we? Come on. I give up. I give up. Enough with the team. Uh, I'm going back to Varane. This is great football. How have you missed that? Win a header. Yeah, fucking good headers, boys, all around. God, this is depressing. Centre back review, I've conceded 10 goals. Well, glad it's over. I'm glad it's over, honestly, because that was, that was just downright atrocious. All around atrocious, I couldn't attack, I couldn't defend. 2,000 years later. Look, I know I said that I'd give this guy a chance, you know, but uh, he pissed me off. I'm not about to lie, okay? He pissed me off, and uh, I'm not happy. I'm not a happy man right now. I'm getting Varane back, people. I'm getting him back. Here's the thing, boys and girls. This guy goes for 120k right now, okay? Just try him yourself. If you think he looks good... Just go and get him yourself, because at the end of the day, his card looks sick, he has good stats, there's no reason that he should be shit, but he is, okay? For me, I don't like him. Alright guys, if you did enjoy this episode of the Race of Glory, smash the like and subscribe, I'll see you for the next one, alright? Peace.